morning fireflies welcome back today I thought we would uh, play around with creating some ephemera <clears throat> from faux ephemera that we purchase online this just happens to be the faux ephemera kit from <clears throat> excuse me love junk journals just one second guys Um, you guys are probably all familiar with Tracy. She does beautiful um, ephemera and little tiny things to embellish with along with journal kits. But today I just thought it would be kind of fun because sometimes we buy these things and just kind of get shoved in the back and forget, you know, what to do with them. And so here is something that I'm, I've just created. And I thought it'd be a really fun project for us to work on together. Um, this is going into a journal that I'm working on. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. This is another one of the little um, altered envelope journals. So I'll give you a little sneak peek on uh, how this is coming along. And I'm going to be building some ephemera for this so I thought this would be a great time to turn on the camera and the good thing is that's going to just fit as well so <laughs> I didn't think about that <laughs> luckily it did so um, so yeah this is how it's coming and I think this would be pretty just either it could be pinned over a page but chances are I'm going to tuck that into a pocket somehow. Yeah, it's a little bit big, but that's okay. I think it will still, yeah, that'll still work. Um, so let's just get started. I don't want to show too much of the journal because it'll be a surprise when it's ready. Um, kits that I'm using today are the Faux Femora from Love Junk Journals, and then this kit, I've been working with this, um, trying to see if it's got the name of it on there, because I've been working with this for a while, but, oh, what a shame. Anyways, it's Nectar's Creations, so you can see that. She is on Etsy. And I don't, unfortunately, know. None of these have got the name of that particular. Um, oh, yes, here we go. I think I think this has got it. Cottage Lane, Volume Three. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. And this is. These little clocks are from the Irla Jama shop, or whatever, I cannot pronounce it. I've showed her time and time again in the past, and I love those little uh, time pieces. So, let's get started. Pull this up here. Just going to get this cut out. And I'm just going to kind of distress the edge a little bit.
I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Getting so close to Christmas. I don't know about you, but it seemed as though um, <clears throat> I was waiting ages to get the tree up because you know I like the light from the tree. And then, boom, here we are, a week and a half away. I just, honestly, I cannot believe it. It's, it's just snuck up on us again. Um, but having said that, I don't know how you guys feel, but this year, particularly since last month, seems to just be dragging on. I think we're all ready for 2020 to be over. And um, normally, I'm saying the opposite. I just feel like it's all just, you know, wow, we, you know, where did the year go? But this year is really drug on, and I know it's because we're all anticipating an end to this nightmare that we're in. So um, let's just hope and pray that 2021 is going to be better. Okay, so I've got some doily lace on this, the little clock, and then a little tag here, and then I made some butterflies. This is some of the paper, so you can see where I've cut the butterflies. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that ready, and this will go very quick. Which is another reason why I love to have uh, neutral backgrounds. Um, and if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend... Okay, if you're just getting into journal making or crafting, let me just stop and give you guys a few pointers. And I wish somebody had told me this in the beginning. Start compiling neutral backgrounds and the reason I say that is if you're just starting out you're probably going to go through a lot of phases of different styles <clears throat> and this is a good investment because it, it can be tweaked into a nature um, steampunk shabby chic vintage whatever you your style is <clears throat> whereas when I started, I was purchasing, you know, specific items, and of course, over time, you know, and you guys know I like to mix it up between shabby chic, vintage, and nature. So, just to save yourself a little bit of money, I would highly recommend these kinds of purchases. And if you're to where you can buy these from your stationery shop, you know, like the time cards, well, that's great. You can do that. But unfortunately, those of us in the UK, and I cannot speak for the ladies in Australia, but I know in the UK, it's hard to find the time cards, and if you do, it's very, very expensive. So how I get these little uh, dimensional butterflies is I cut three. I'm getting ahead of myself here, but um, and then I tie them off and I glue the back one, and that way you can lift those wings up. Now it will flatten out in the journal, but that's what you want. And then as you're going through the pages, you can you now make it flip it back up so it's dimensional. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Um, so that was something I was thinking about, and. If you know your colors that you're drawn to, stay with those because there again, I've wasted a lot of money. Um, think, you know, I'd see if, if, you know, we all go through Pinterest, Instagram, we're in our groups, or, and you see something that's like for me, steampunk, that looks amazing, but I. I'm, I don't work in that, and I've tried it, and I've bought the stuff for it, and I've just ended up having to de-stash it. So I would say, you know, really think through what you are drawn to and try to scale that down 
to just a few things that you can get started with, otherwise you're going to spend hundreds of dollars. Um, and if you've got the money to do that, that's great. It's um, cheap therapy, as they say, isn't it? Okay, so let's just stop chattering and get on with it. So this was some leftover doily from that one. So I'm just going to get that down because it's just a, a texture on the background anyways. Okay, so the other thing I did was just take another bit of um, coordinating paper and I've just punched <coughs> with my uh, decorative punch here a little strip so that that just peeks through. I just think it, um, it just adds another layer of interest. I was going to do some uh, embossing today on it and I just, I got everything out and I thought, well, I don't know if I'll get around to that or not, but you, you could um, add some embossing on there too, but I don't know if I'll do that. So that strip's too wide, so I'm just going to tear it down because this is just going to peek through under that bit of lace there. <clears throat> so, an update on Daisy. As you guys know, um, she had that episode of the vestibular disease. And <clears throat> I really didn't think she was going to make it. She had lost her appetite for nine days. We could not even get her to eat. I had to <laughs> force food down her. Because the vet did tell us, oh, that's too long, so I'm going to take some of this off. Um, the vet did say that dogs can live with very little food. So, you know... So we just did it, but boy, she's had a, a com almost a complete recovery. Her head is still tilted slightly, and if you've never heard of it, apparently it's a very common disease for older dogs, and what it, it does is it acts like uh, vertigo <clears throat> in humans. So she was walking around. I'm sorry, my voice is really weak today. <clears throat> so she was walking around really drunk. It was so, so sad. Um, but she's had almost a complete recovery, and I'm so grateful because we just, I don't think we could have coped with it right now with everything going on. We know the day's coming, but we're so, so grateful that we've got this um, extra bit of time with her. Anyways, I've just kind of made that a bit more tatty. And I want some of these words showing, I, so I, I'm trying to be careful that I don't cover that. So let me just get the glaze glued down. So yes, she's doing amazing, so we're grateful for the extra bit of time we've got with her. We um, changed her food over because one of the things we found... We couldn't get her to eat, and I said to Paul, I said, do you think she is associating, because she was violently ill at the beginning, and it's because it's like motion sickness to them. So I said, do you think it's possible she's associating her old food, and I don't know if it was or, <clears throat> or wasn't, but... We did um, go to the pet store and asked them, you know, what's the tastiest dog food you've got? 
and uh, he gave us a jar. So I told Paul, I said, just let's just get one can because if we can't get her to eat, you know. And sure enough, she loves that food, and it's so good to see her. Um, you know, she's put on. She's went ahead and put some weight back on. But boy, does she get excited when she hears that can open every day. It's so funny. So I told him, I said, just feed her whatever she wants. Because um, she's, she's just as happy as can be. So I'm so glad. Because we kind of have made, you know, the decision that if, well, it's not if. It will come back, but it's how long between this and the next episode. They said it could be years, it could just be a few weeks. So we kind of made the decision that when it happens, we'll, we'll let her go the next time because um, it was pitiful, pitiful to see her. Okay, so I've got the tag here. I've got this, um, these are the paper tray ink uh, stamp set. Oh, gosh. I believe it's button button or something. And again, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but uh, paper tray ink, ink tends to retire their stamps. Or I say that, I haven't bought from them for years, so this may have changed. But they tend to retire them for a few years and then bring them back out. So you just have to keep watching and do like a notification when it's going to come back in. It's a very nice stamp set to have. So I've just inked that up. That's going to go go around there. Let me get it in the right way. This is testing my going way back on those Roman numerals. Hmm, I think it's that way. 10, 12, yeah. So yep, yeah, she's um she's kind of getting her strength back. We still can't let her because she's got the other problem with her neck, you know. So we still are not allowing her to go up and down the stairs, and we try to keep her from jumping off the sofa. But she sometimes she, you can't get to her quick enough, and she'll jump down. <laughs> so. But yeah, she's walking. She's almost back to normal. The only thing I would say is when she, when when we've want went on maybe a little bit too far on a walk, and she's getting tired, she starts staggering, and we have noticed that. So we we're, we're really limiting just short little walks, like three times a day, so she can get some exercise. Okay, we've got that. Now let's do our little butterflies here, and I'm just going to ink them up a bit. So yes, that's good, and then um, I know a couple of you had, had left really sweet comments about my daughter, and I appreciate you keeping her in prayer, and I know a lot of you, you know, are suffering from health issues yourself. Um, but she's doing good, and she's, you know, just started a new job. And so far, she's doing well with that, so I'm really hoping that she can cope with it. Because um, she's a really anxious person, in addition to, she's a, a perfectionist, and she really upsets herself when she can't pick up on things quickly and you know you you try it's like anybody who suffers from things you try to t explain to them look I was like that when I was young you know employers don't expect you to know this stuff for sometimes some jobs it takes months to to learn but she puts such ridiculous pressure on herself and then she gets herself in such a state 
that she she starts you know she can't control her crying and it's just awful awful guys I mean and this is what we you know it's been going on since she was um, little little girl it, it just I, you know you keep thinking well she, they're gonna outgrow it and she'll outgrow it and, and toughen up but not everybody can toughen up. I mean, and I think it's probably a good thing because the rest of us, man, life's knocks, you know. You get to the point where you you have to be so callous over things. and But some people don't have that ability, and she's one of them. She just can't. She takes everything to heart, and um, it's it's awful to see it. It really, really is. But she's doing good, and and she seems like she's got a good group she's working with there. But you know how that is. Let's hope it doesn't change people. Oof. So um, so thank you guys who who I dumb been so understanding about that. Okay, there she is. Now you could add, I mean that one kind of looks plainer for some reason. I think it's because of the black, but I think I'm going to just add a little pearl or something. Let me see what I can put just to So, um, I can't think of anything else. It's going to be a very quiet Christmas for us this year because um, oh, does it need it? Where would I put it? There? Because Paul's boy in Canada of course, they can't come back. I'm not going back at Christmas because I went in September. Yeah, gosh, I can't even remember. So it's going to be a quiet Christmas for us this year. And um, Paul's mom is in the nursing home. And the nursing home here, you can't bring the patients out. He goes in there. He can't have any contact with her. It's awful. I mean, honestly, uh, I don't know how they're getting away with this stuff, guys. I really don't. I do not understand how uh, legally that this is going on. But anyways, it is. So it's, yeah, it's just very strange times. I did forget, guys. I had done a little bit of the script stamp on the the base, so I'll just put a little bit there. And let's just put a little bit here. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, there we have it. I hope that's not too much. It's... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't. I try not to go too too fussy with my things, but I hope you like that. You can see now, what I did was just glued the back butterfly. If you glue that one down, then you can separate these, and they they really do look like they're just flying floating off the page. I love them. So now you've got a nice little writing space in here because like I said that'll go flat the only thing is that that is going to be a problem if you're trying to write but we've done it now <laughs> it'll look pretty in the pocket so I hope you guys have enjoyed that little tutorial so quick um, and we will carry on with this because we now have these two so in the next um, couple of episodes I'll work on these with you so take care everybody I uh, I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. See you soon. Bye-bye.